Blessings in Yah, or in English, God, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, or in English, Jesus Christ. This is Soul and Light, your voice for biblical encouragement and teaching from Yah's word. Let us as followers of Yahushua be the salt and the light, as in Matthew 5, 13 through 16. I pray everyone is well and safe. For those who are new to this podcast, welcome. For those who are returning, welcome back. It's great to have you. Soul and Light is available on Getter, MeWe, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Visit my pages on social media where I have two links posted. One takes you to the website where you can choose how to listen. We are available on Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Breaker, Radio Public, Spotify, Podbean, Stitcher, and Deezer. The other link is to Patreon, so if the Lord so touches your heart to give and support this ministry, it is much appreciated, and we bless you for it. You can also record and send in voice messages directly um, through AlitU. Any comments, questions, concerns, or feedback, please feel free to share. Just keep it civil. Please visit and download the app. Um, subscribe and hit the bell to add it to your favorites. And don't forget to subscribe to the Salt and Light channel on YouTube as well. And give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Please like and share the link. Please visit Salt and Light podcast group page on Facebook. Also, a Salt and Light art on Facebook and YouTube to see pics, reels of paintings, and upcoming art projects. Your, so, your support helps reach more people for the kingdom of Yahuwah and to love up as a podcast and grow this ministry. Once again, thank you for your support and your prayers. We all need encouragement right now. Be blessed and safe. In the name of Yahuwah, I love you all. Praise God. So here we are. This is actually the uh, first episode that I am doing on a new platform called AlitU. Um, I switched from Alit from uh, to AlitU from Anchor. So um, not able to see any of my past episodes. This is a brand new platform. Um, you can catch my other 143 episodes because I've been doing, I started this podcast journey in December of the year 2020. So yeah, I have over about 143, 144 episodes. Um, you can catch those on, like I said, we're available on Deezer, Podbean, um, Stitcher, um, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Um, the last episode I did was on was on Anchor that I made a new account for, um, and it just had that one episode on it that was continuing the series of on the book of revelation um it dealt with chapter 14 the lamb and the 144,000 um so and that's the only episode that's on anchor right now um but i also posted it to to facebook and like i said you can um find it on podbean and stitcher and uh deezer and other various platforms as well um, I'm still working out a lot of kinks, um, technical stuff, dealing with AlitU, trying to find out how I can uh, make a, a link uh, to a website where a person can, can go. I've had that with Anchor, uh, a wave link that takes you to the website, and you could just go to either Facebook, and it's pretty easy to navigate. Um, I got to figure that out, as well as posting the episodes to YouTube. Um, you can see all... You can listen to all 143 episodes on YouTube as well, on Salt and Light um, channel on YouTube. Um, but it's I have to figure out a way to continue to post um, on YouTube uh, through I, I do that through an app called Headliner. So I just you know have to figure that out. Um, you know, switching platforms is never just so easy uh, to do. So. Um, the Lord is doing new things, um, even with that. So, so just keep the ministry in prayer. Um, we appreciate your prayers. Um, so let's just jump in. This is continuing um, uh, the series on the Book of Revelation that we've been going through, um, chapter by chapter. Um, as I've mentioned, chapter fourteen was the last episode I did. Um, still was on anchor. Um, so this is the first episode that I'm doing, a full episode that I'm doing through AlitU. Um, 
continuing the series is going to deal with um, chapter uh, Revelation chapter 15, the prelude to the bowl judgments. Um, this is, uh, I'm reading from the New King James Version, so we'll just um, read chapter 15, starting at verse 1. Um, then I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them the wrath of Yahuwah is complete. And I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire and those who have the victory over the beast, over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, standing on the sea of glass, having harps of Yahuwah. They sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yah and the song of the lamb saying, great and marvelous are your works, Lord God almighty. Just and true are your ways, O king of the saints, who shall not fear you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you alone are holy, for all nations shall come and worship before you, for your judgments have been manifested. After these things I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And out of the temple came the seven angels having the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, and having their chests girded with golden bands. Then one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of Yah, who lives forever and ever. The temple was filled with smoke from the glory of Yahuwah and from his power, and no one was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. Praise Yah. So again, that was from the New King James Version, but um, obviously the New King James Version says God and Jesus um you know, just a caveat I'm going to put right here. I, I switch over, but I, I lean more towards calling um, God and, and Jesus Christ um, by the Hebrew names, um, not the English names. Um, but I would switch over every now and again and you and you would hear that. Um, it's just a preference. It's just a conviction that I've had, um, you know, that came from the Holy Spirit. So. So it's just going to dive a little bit into just that chapter, um, kind of break it down, kind of unpack it a little bit. Um, as with anything, you can go. And again, my other episodes, um, I've said many times that um, we have to just, you know, interpret scriptures in light of the truth of the word of God um, and not our own interpretations. Right. So. Let us not be um, led astray by even like, you know, teachers and theologians and pastors and uh, let it let it be us um, coming to God and through the Holy Spirit. He, he gives us revelation, right, and understanding of the scriptures um, as we spend time in his presence. And, you know, not that again, not that there is um, anything wrong or you know, anything um, of that sort with regarding um, teachings and or using study Bibles and all of these things. But uh, my, I'm of the opinion that it shouldn't be your first go-to. Um, your first go-to should be spending time with God and, and you know, His Holy Spirit given revelation, um, spend time in prayer and get along with Him. And uh, that that is where he, he's there's no better teacher than the Holy Spirit. Right. So um, and then just to, you know, read the scriptures for yourself in, in context, you know, um, you know, I don't want to get into all that, but let's just not be led astray by what we think that the verse says or how does the verse what do we get from the verse? It's not really about what we get from the verse. It's about understanding where what it says, what it actually does say in context of the passage of, you know, who understanding who the writer was, um, who are they writing to, what audience and so on and so forth. What was the purpose of their writings? Um, what application uh, does it have 